Yo, 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 what is up? This is No Border Sports. I am No Crypto, and this is my co-host, Waruna. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of No BS. So, let's start. <laughs> Here you go. So, I mean, a lot to talk about. Just We just finished the season, I mean. Not the NFL season, 49er season, a lot to talk about. So let's jump right into it with the topic today, Jimmy Garoppolo. We are just going to talk about Jimmy Garoppolo, everything. Just no BS. So the first topic, is there a chance that Jimmy comes back next year? Ryan, you can start, then I'll jump in. So, yes, there's a chance. Um is it that probable? Probably not. But, you know, I there's, there's – who knows? Who knows with this team, with this upper management as far as ownership, um, what goes on here. But, no, I think he's gone. I, I think somebody – I think Grant was saying around March or you know, late March or so he'll be gone. I, I don't know a time frame. Um, I don't know – I don't know if it'll go before the draft or after. Um, probably before, though, just because there's not that much talent supposedly in the draft. And I say supposedly because you never know until, you know, a year afterwards or, you know, who who's actually talent, who has the talent or not, the diamond in the roughs. So you don't see them until afterwards. Um, you know, the Aaron Rodgers, the Tom Brady's, they don't, they don't pop up right in the beginning. But, yeah. I, yeah. I, so, yeah. So uh, my take on this, Ryan, is that I would uh, change the statement a bit. Should there be a chance that Jimmy comes back next year? Why I say this is during the playoffs, there was probably only one quarterback who was worse than Jimmy. That was Ryan Tannehill, your favorite. Other than that, all these quarterbacks, they were good. At, at a particular time of during the playoffs, their wins, they contributed to their team's victories. They were not get carried by their team. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, if Jimmy Garoppolo comes back, I'm okay. But if the intention of the front office, the 49er fan base, is to win some regular season games and just go on to the uh, playoffs and have maybe win one or two games and just come back home empty-handed. Because if you want to win a Super Bowl and you are going with Jimmy Garoppolo, that is like you are going, you are planning to pull a bank robbery with a 16-year-old kid with a learner's permit as your getaway driver. That's Jimmy Garoppolo. That's a right? very good analogy. So that's, that's a very good analogy. So that's the thing because you are going to end of the day something is going to uh, go wrong and you are just ended up worrying about oh what the hell just happened because I saw 49 fans being emotional for what Jimmy did and all that so I'm going to write an article later addressing all these things but people said oh Prior to his ACL injury, Jimmy Garoppolo, he could move, he was good, blah, blah, blah. But you need to understand this. If that quarterback got injured and that, uh, that resulted in affecting his performance, performances uh, in games, that means he should go because... There is no way we can't go back to 2017 or 18 and bring back that pre-injury Garoppolo. He's not coming there. So we. this is a cold business. This is a cold. Uh, our uh, target is to win Super Bowl. So we have to make, end of the day, just let the players that who are not performing, let them go. Keep our emotional side, emotions aside, set them aside and have a players that we can rely on who are going to carry this team to a championship. So that's why I changed the uh, statement, should there be a chance? I said, 
there shouldn't be a chance for Jimmy Garoppolo to come back next year. If they do, that's one of the most arrogant and I don't know. I would say just that one of the most arrogant decisions will be taken by this uh, this front office. So, so yes, and this is why. If there was a whole bunch of non-talent on this team, sure, bring Jimmy back. Have a crap season. Let's get good draft picks and let's move on. But that's not the case. We've given away all our first rounders for Trey Lance. And Jimmy, we have a lot of talent on this team. So even with Jimmy, let's say, you know, you're trying to tank with Jimmy, you know, you're trying to, you know, be a Dolphins owner and you're paying Jimmy to tank, you're still going to win games. You're still going to win games and you're not going to tank as you wish. So it's not like there's no reason to keep a quarterback that hinders you when you've got everyone around you who is trying to push, even even with him on your team, is trying to push you over the edge. And you know to 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 win. So yes, you need to somebody who can who opens up the the field, the playbook, um, and and unlocks talent of other you know players on the field. And Jimmy doesn't really do that. Um, I, one thing I like about Jimmy is it, at times he's very good at hitting people on the run very quickly. Yes. And that is very nice at certain times. But I I need a deep throw every once in a while. Yeah, every once in a while, yes. I think today I was, uh, uh, just before coming here, uh, I was listening to Jesse. Jesse made a great point about Jimmy Garoppolo. He said the last game, the throw he made to Brandon Ayuk, we all were like, oh, wow, Jimmy, uh, he's on his stride today. He's, uh, he's on his rhythm and, uh, and whatnot. But... But he said this, if there was another quarterback made the same throw, like Matthew Stafford or Mahomes or whatever the quarterback, Joe Burrow, for instance, made that throw, we wouldn't even notice it because that's a throw uh, the good quarterback supposed to make. But we are down to a level. It's a given for players. Yes, it's a given. Yes, but we are down to a level. We are going to accept, oh, Jimmy made that throw. But a fantastic throw. So I think that's the situation we are in. So that's all comes down to this. So that's why I think, uh, as we discussed, there should should not be a situation that Jimmy Garoppolo comes back and keep uh, holding this offense back for one other year. Because today I just checked another stat for, for an article. 49ers, 2021 season. 24 points per game in offense. That is 15th in the entire league. 15th. 49 in defense. 20.6 points per game. They given 15 day in effect. But 49ers say Kyle Shanahan is offensive genius and Jimmy Garoppolo is clutch. I just close my case. Yep. So okay. I want to speak to E. Kim's point here. I don't know if this is a mistake because essentially what you described is the definition of insanity. Making the same, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. <laughs> yes. But yes, very yes. Pal- very valid. Very valid. Yes, that's the thing. Yes. And yes. we're gonna we're actually gonna talk a, maybe a talk a little only, bit. Only more. thing that you can say yep. is that Ryan Tannehill was much worse during that period. I, I would say he was much worse. Ryan Tannehill compared he only to got, Jimmy. He only got one game to be bad. One game, yes, I mean, that's true. Yes, like I'm sure, I'm sure he would have if he could have got through that game. I'm sure he might have had a better game the second better game. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. But. Not, maybe not by much. Maybe maybe a lot better. You know, Tannehill, I think, is a better quarterback than Jimmy. But True. Yeah. Yeah. 